All right, we are talking with uh, guitars in the classroom teachers this year, this summer. They have been very, very busy. A lot of teachers just take the time off for the summer and they go on vacation. Then they do many, many things. But these, this, this group does quite something else. I'm talking with Jessica Barron. She is the founder, executive director of Guitars in the Classroom, even though we're not looking at guitars. We're looking at ukuleles. Good morning to you. Good morning. So what's this program? We are all about making music a part of learning every subject. And so this way, when the teacher plays, and that's what we do, we train teachers and school staff, children can have music in their lives every day as a part of learning all the basic subjects. And then that's a perfect complement to music education, which is educating kids for music's sake. So they're complementary programs. And a lot of these otherwise would not get music in their lives, in, in the classroom at all, would they? Well, in general, classroom teachers like to sing, but they usually use a boombox and a CD, but mm -hmm. that's not nearly as responsive as playing an instrument. And then the teachers learn to write songs, and they teach the kids to write songs, and that drives the learning really deep into the children's minds. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go down the, the row here and get names and what instruments you learned to play this summer. Hi, my name is Shannon Plapp, and I learned the ukulele and also the guitar. And what do you teach? I teach kindergarten at Loma Portal Elementary. Okay, you have microphones on, so you go ahead and tell me. Hi, I'm Lisa Weiss. Mm -hmm. I teach uh, kids with severe disabilities at Euclid Elementary, and I learned the ukulele and the guitar this summer. Okay, next. Hi, I'm Carrie Wang, and I teach fourth grade at Euclid Elementary, and I learned the ukulele and the guitar. Wonderful. And? Good morning. My name is Jessica Leonard, and I teach third grade at Chesterton Elementary School. Um, this summer, I worked a lot more on guitar. I'm more comfortable with ukulele, and I just love this program. And Jessica, maybe you can speak for all of you. Why, why do this? Why spend time doing this instead of maybe something very, you know, on your own this summer? Personal. I think this is both personal and professional. I think happy teachers make happy students. Um, this not only influences the students' lives, but our lives. It brings a lot of joy to us, and it gives us a chance not only to learn an instrument, but to write songs for our students about math or social studies or science or English language arts curriculum. So it's a wonderful opportunity. I love the passion. Just uh, quickly, how many teachers take part in this usually? Well, we've worked with a and teachers nationally, mm -hmm. and here in San Diego, we've worked with over a thousand teachers. That's wonderful. Okay, now what are you going to play for us? Well, we're going to do our back to school song. This is the most popular song the first day and first week of school. It's mm -hmm. an old church song that we've rewritten for the general classroom called Get On Board. Okay. And in the song, all the children learn to sing. Oops, I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, the children learn to sing each other's names okay. and memorize so that each day when they come to school, they actually know who they're with in the classroom. And it's the part that helps the teachers with their memory. Real quick. Okay, I'll let you take it away from there. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> Alrighty, here we go. Ready? Alright, we're in the key of C. A one, two, three, four. I got a friend that we all know, and Shannon is her name. Yeah. I've got a friend that we all know, and Shannon is her name. Lisa. I've got a friend that we Children, children, get on board, children, children. 
wonderful. We'll be right back.